Hi, 7th grade. I'm going to show you how to do the butterfly activity. So you're going to make two butterflies. You're going to color them in. And you want to read the directions on how to do that. And also explain some directions in this video. And this is something that you may remember other students doing um, in, in school. So we normally do this in school. I would assign you a place um, in the school, a particular area. And you would color butterflies to blend in with the surroundings. And then we invite the younger grades, the kindergartners to third grade to try to find them. And if they found them, they tape them on that giant lizard that I put in the hallway. So we're going to talk about this more. Um, tomorrow we do the analysis activity for this activity. But what you want to do today is cut out two butterflies. You're going to color one so it blends in as best you can with its background. And then the second one, you want it to really stand out. So think about camouflaging one butterfly and then making the other one really stand out because then you want to invite a family member to come in and just tell them, look, I hid two butterflies. Can you find them? And you'll see which butterfly they find first. Can they find the one that you really camouflaged well? Uh, for the activity today, I want you to simply just take a picture of both butterflies and attach them at the bottom of the notes you took about variation. And then we'll talk about it more, more tomorrow. So to make your butterflies, I took a piece of printer paper. You can also use a scrap paper, but you probably want it to be white. You probably don't want it to be loose leaf. So try to find some white paper or uh, some scrap paper that has enough space so you can cut out um, your two butterflies. And then I'm gonna very freehand draw a butterfly. And this doesn't have to be fancy. This, you don't want to be too big or too small. I just folded a piece of printer paper in half. I'm going to use less than half of the space up here. So I'm just going to cut, curve. I'm going to make lines going up and down with a big wing, over and up with a small wing. And then if you want to fold this, you can. So it's super symmetrical. Up and down small, small, right? And that's pretty much the shape. If you do want to go to the Google and type in butterfly clip art or a butterfly silhou silhouette, um, you can trace that off your screen, but it's just as easy just to draw one. And I'm not even cutting super close on the lines. Okay, and it really doesn't matter. You can use a pencil. I used a pen, so it'd show up better in the video. But after I cut this out, you see I have two butterflies. Right? And if you can see any markings, just turn that face down and color on the other side. In my next video, I'm going to have these two butterflies colored as an example for your activity. Okay, so this is my example of the two butterflies. So as you're looking at my wall, you can obviously that there's one butterfly on the, the wall. Okay, so it really stands out. Okay, it's all stripey with many colors. And if you entered this room and you looked over towards this corner where uh, this is, you would really see that butterfly stand out. If you were a lizard and you were looking for a butterfly to eat, this one stands out, you'd probably go for this butterfly and he would become your snack or your lunch. Now if you look around, try to find the butterfly that's more disguised. Okay, it's in this uh, wall hanging right here. Can you see it? I'm going to focus in on it and it's right there. So if I zoom in, you can see the colors are not exactly the same. All right, but you see it's very well blended in, it's camouflaged. If you were a lizard with not very great vision, you wouldn't see this butterfly. You would see that one. And so you'd go this butterfly and you would eat that one. And the thing is, with natural selection, and we'll study this next, but this butterfly is eaten because he doesn't blend in very well. Its genes are taken out of the gene pool. And it can't pass on those genes to its offspring babies. And we'll talk about that. This butterfly is more blended in. It's probably going to survive at a higher rate 
than butterflies that don't blend in, that, don't, that, are, that aren't able to be camouflaged. So we're gonna talk about that. So think about these things when you make your two butterflies. You want one that blends in really well, okay? And don't just stick a white butterfly on a white wall, okay? I want you to add some color and I want you to be um, clever with it, okay? So add some color, make one blend in, make one stick out, take a picture of both and insert them in that Google Doc notes. And we'll talk about this more tomorrow. I look forward to seeing your butterflies.